Oh my gosh, we're at the end of disc one. Let's go. Yes, I understand. Flashy things will happen. Because we're so cool. Oh my god, are we playing game? And no, another critical fail. Dear God, Peggy, thy dice been weighted correctly. They gotta be, I bedazzled them and everything. Oh no. Perchance a certain paladin could save the brave Matilda from the Demogorgons. Pizza Boys drifted off. Um, Demogorgons. Ah, uh, what? Oh, are, are we good to combat? Did someone kill the town's chicken? Oh, shit! Aw, uh, with some... Oh, boy. Oh, it's some funny having another anxiety-induced dissociative episode. Oh, what? I'm fine. I, I was just brainstorming ways to get stronger potions. Perhaps thine melodies are owed to that... A cerulean devil, I swear to God, if you talk like this the entire time, I'm gonna have a stroke. You know, the scoundrel that left you at the mercy of that hot-headed Carolina Reaper and disparaged to Peggy's wristless of wristless wristlet of friendship, I'm actually gonna have a stroke. Gods know they are hard to come by. It, it's okay, Daniel. I'm over it now. He didn't even know I was listening. He just didn't want to stir up any trouble with saying to my face that, that my bracelet was trash. <laughs> Peggy, your bracelets are not trash. Oh no, this voice is transforming and I can't control it. I cannot stand for this, seeing that clown of a cool kid bring you down, both of you. Uh, yeah, this isn't worth taking personally. Cody just says and does whatever he needs in order to ascend. That's, uh, how this works. I mean, it's not like I'm any different. I just want to become a cool kid and be done with this. Wait, you're still going to try and ascend? Well, I mean, yeah, everything would be a waste if I didn't. But why did you not just witness the true nature of cool kids? Uh, yeah, they get to do whatever they want whenever they want. If I'm cool, I don't have to worry about Julie or my family or even you telling me what to do. I'm sorry I've made you feel bad. You may do as you like. It's not like that cool kid has much to spare you anyway. Let us continue with the campaign. Gods know us losers waste enough time toiling over the actions of cool kids. Peggy, Daniel, and PB finish their session with only a few Demogorgon related, related tragedies. Well, Pizza Boy makes his way home after school. Oh, this demon cat is still here. I wonder what Cody's up to. He hasn't messaged me at all. He's probably given up on me. Makes sense. I mean, what prospective cool kid would let themselves get dunked onto a rocket coaster? Pizza Boy shakes the thoughts from his head. Ugh, no, no way. He's just got too much to gain from this. I bet he just wants to take a break. And, I mean, a break would be nice, right? It's been a while since I've had time to myself. Screw the cat. I'd rather hole up in my room with some blankets and snacks and read, or play some Minecraft, or... Uh, howdy, partner. No! Uh, so sorry, I thought using cowboy speak would, like, chill you out. <laughs> you know, since you're friends with HG and all. You don't have to lull me into a false sense of security to do cat stuff, Cody. I'm already on board. I, I, I just didn't think that you'd show up in front of my apartment. But whatever. Oh, what are we learning today? How to bully losers? Huh? No! 
Uh, actually, I was thinking we'd take a break from the cat. I'm pretty burnt out from yesterday, and it's probably cooler to procrastinate anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Pizza Boy heads into his apartment. Hey, whoa, 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 hold it, cowboy. Cowboy speak doesn't chill me out, Cody. What do you want? Um, do you want to hang out today? Why? Uh, for fun, duh. I don't get it. You know, a fun? Uh, F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for... Uh, the other thing. I forget. Shit, I forget too. Oh my god, it's been a long time. I just like thought we could chill and not worry about ascending for a bit. Cody looks like he genuinely wants to hang out. Uh, fine. As long as you're out by the time my family gets home. I don't need them reminding me all the ways I cramp your style. <gasps> ooh, ooh, hell yeah. Whoa, look at all this shit. If this family space is off limits, we're going to my room. But, aw, oh, man. Whoa. <gasps> Turtle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want to look at absolutely fucking everything in here. Teen Titans! Little cats! But, but exploring other people's houses is the best part of visiting them. Come on, dude. I've never seen a loser's place before. No way, it's weird enough having you over. I don't need you snooping around my family stuff, too. Do you have two identical pizza hats? Just hang out here. It's more fun away from all the clutter upstairs anyway. Alright, <laughs> no clutter down here at all. I don't know what cool kids usually do when they hang out. I mean, aside from drink coffee, play planet dance, or torment losers. Uh, no sweat, there's gotta be something down here that we both like. Look at this turtle. Hey, who's this little guy? It's turtle, the, tur po the tur turtle Pokemon. Not my favorite Pokemon, but Steve outgrew lame stuff like this years ago and left it behind. Aw, you're keeping it to remember your bro? Uh, no. I just think it's funny looking. I, I don't even I don't even really want it. If you like it, then you can fucking keep it. I hate Dirtle. <laughs> Tempting offer, but I can't split up a family. Dirtle stays here. It's so cute. What are these? Whoa, you collect old toys too? My parents just find them on the ground, assume they're mine, and leave them in my room. They're probably my younger cousin's stuff. Aw, oh, I get it. They're ground prizes. Good to see the spirit of ground prize hunting is still alive and well. The fuck? Ground prize hunting? Is that a cool kid thing? It's more like an inside joke. You wouldn't get it. Wow, okay. The fuck is this? A toolbox. I thought you were a pizza boy, not a handyman. I just had that from my bike. You'd be surprised by how often people dismantle it for scraps only to find out that every part is totally decrepit and worthless. This is exactly why you should take up skateboarding. Well, can you carry a sack of pizzas while skateboarding? I mean, probably. I once almost ate a whole pizza while skating. Does that count? No. No, it doesn't. Teen Titans! Oh, sick! Teen Titans! Uh, Team Titans! Haha, <laughs> we don't want to get, uh, you know, hit by the big man. Team Titans is awesome. Yeah, team of unique superheroes whose differences are the core source of their strength is such a wholesome story. Uh, that was your takeaway? <laughs> I just thought all the characters were hot. I mean, why not both? You know what'd be real fun? Dress up. I bet you look way better in the little greaser's restaurant uniform than that delivery get up. No way, didn't you learn from Monday? 
All the uniforms are starchy and never fit me anyway. Let's just think of something less humiliating to pass the time. What's on here? Yo, comics. Wait a sec, these are just lame superhero comics. Wait, what's wrong with superhero comics? That's kind of like 95% of the genre, isn't it? I mean, I thought they were considered cool. Uh, I mean, sometimes. I just thought a loser would have like manga or something. You read manga? Huh? <laughs> what? What? No, I don't read. What's a word? I've never heard of that. It's okay, Cody. You can just admit that you like it and I'll show you my collection. Oh, huh. well, I mean, well, I, I just think the cool, the clothes and faces and everything are way cooler in manga. Everything is like so detailed and sharp. Plus, my dad was really good at drawing it. Anyway, what do you got? I hope it's some cool shonen shit. <laughs> I don't have a manga collection. I hate this stuff. I just wanted you to admit that you liked it. No! <laughs> What's under here? Whoa, are these tiny pages of a tiny book? I They are magic cards. I was about to joke that, and then I was like, nah, it's probably something else. <laughs> Those are magic to having cards. Not that there's much difference. All the flavor text it has to be in two-point font just to fit on the card. So many words. Oh, this game must suck. It really does. Let's play it. What? Why? We both hate it. Exactly. This is common ground. Why not bond over mutual hatred of stupidly complicated card games? Bond? Are you serious? Whatever. Let's just play a quick game. I've got three different decks. Just choose whichever you want. Oh no. I don't actually want to do this. Aw oh, man, I don't want to fucking play Magic. <laughs> Demonic Stationary. Sounds badass and practical. I'm going with that. Not a bad choice. I guess I'll go with zombified livestock. Uh, so like, how do you play? The rules are pretty simple. You start off with one mana, and every turn you can either charge one more or spend your mana to play a card, all of which have different mana costs. All cards have unique abilities. Some attack, block, fly, stab, stab twice, get stabbed, kill instantly, trap you in a menagerie for a turn, infest your own cavity with bees, alert the guards, curse you with an amazing butt, turn you. <laughs> <laughs> turn you into a unicorn upon which you will be hunted for the remainder of the game. Listen, a piece boy lists different card abilities and various hyper specific rules for a long time. Lastly, some cards just automatically win you the game. I've heard about these. Cody, did you seriously fall asleep? Uh, nah, I was just closing my eyes to make a point of how boring you were. A card that just wins the game? Is that even fair? Nope. Anyway, are you ready to play? Uh, ready as I'll ever be. How about you take the first turn and show me how it's done? Oh no, we're really, really actually doing this. Oh god. If you say so. Oh no. It's pizza bo Actually, hold on. I want to do other things before we do this. Please. Please let me do other things before we do this. Because I'm afraid that that's going to make us move on. I know what we can do. Blanket fort. What are you, five? Cody counts on his fingers. Oh, damn, I don't have enough fingers. I'm pretty sure I'm 18 though. That's too old for pillow forts, and also too old for counting your age on your fingers. What the fuck are you doing? It was for comedic effect, okay. Uh, wait, did we look at these already? Yes, we did, okay. I had to make sure. A uh, My Little Horsey poster? <laughs> Pretty on brand, Pizza Boy. It's just something that Peggy gave me. Peggy? Who's that? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, yuck. You got a laundry machine in your room? That sounds so fucking fantastic. Oh my god, I wish I had a laundry machine directly in my fucking room. Maybe my laundry would get done more than 
once a month. <laughs> Does that make for a terrible roommate? I don't mind it. It cleans up after itself and it doesn't steal my food and it starts having noise in the background. It makes me feel less lonely. All that, what a load. <laughs> Get it. Can we pass the time with something other than your terrible jokes? Ooh, what you got on your computer? Oh shit, a dragon! Oh, maybe we can play with this medieval looking stuff. Oh yeah, that's some Dens and Dragons paraphernalia Daniel and me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, especially this box of hard candies. Oh no, not the forbidden candy. Cody, those are dice. Cody spits out a T20. Man, I hate D&D. &D. <laughs> Cody finds an unattended computer. Oh, is that clickbait? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> what the shit have you done? Pop up appears on the player's screen. Congratulations, you just found a top secret, super accurate, loser, quick kid, god personality quiz. Oh my god. <gasps> What's my fave color? Like blue, dude. How cool are you? I'm like pretty cool. Where will you be in five years? Uh, pff, I mean, like five years older. Don't make me look that far into my future. I don't want to think about that. What's your deepest regret? Running from the real you and whoever claims to love them. Wow, my god. Betraying your loved ones in the pursuit of being cool. Failing to meet standards while somehow failing to break them. <laughs> Forgetting to put water in microwavable Easy Mac. I don't... This sounds like something that I would do. But also, I don't think I've ever fucked up that bad. So there's that at least. Hey, <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> Whoops. What am I? Fucking Nunya, bae. <gasps> oh my god, I'm a unicorn. True oddity. You managed to avoid being seen both physically and metaphorically. Fuck yeah. You're just too weird. Like, are you a horse or a narwhal? Pick a fucking lane, dude. Rainbows get real. <laughs> It's crippling loneliness outside the zoological box, but remember that out there is a great view with mythical company. Prance around, get chummy with a griffin, shoot confetti out of your horn, or whatever the fuck you do. Just know that you decide what it means to be you. In this case, a magical, mythical, majestical uniform. A unicorn. Or a uniform, I guess. Wow. Thanks. That's great. Oh, shit. I thought that clicking on the ad was about to put me in a bad spot we did it we did the quiz didn't anyone teach you that pop-ups give you viruses if you want to know who you are look in the dang mirror whoa bro whoa <laughs> damn well i guess we'll play magic now oh wait can we talk to each other oh why is he here Hope you find something to do so we can get this hangout over with. Wow, rude. Man, is hanging out even the right thing to do? He probably hates pity parties and it's weird being in a loser's room again. Better find something for us to do so I don't have to think about it. Oh wait, let me look at my stuff. Uh-huh. Okay, we don't want to talk about accidentally killing any teachers today. Hey, I got an idea for what we can do. Let's snoop around upstairs. Nope, I don't even let my real friends hang out up there. We're staying down here. Okie dokie, it's magic time. We get to skip past all this. Demonic. Okay, great. If you say so, Pizza Boy's turn. I play a headless chicken. The headless chicken enters the field. It costs no mana, but also has no abilities. Uh, what the heck? What is even the point of a headless chicken then? Oh, you'll see. Oh god. Oh god, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know how to fucking play this game. We're gonna get stomped anyways. Fuck it. Play a mana card. Spence is one mana. Ah, oh, hell yeah. I play Clippy. 
Clippy enters the field and it says, It looks like you are trapped in a bleak, monotonous purgatory of life and have no aspirations to fix it. Would you like help? Oh, I hate Clippy. He's so annoying. Awesome. You rattled, dweeb. Pizza Boy loses three patience points. If he loses any more, he might just lose his cool. Joke's on you. I have no cool to lose. Aw, oh, shit, you're right. This was a horrible strategy. It's Pizza Boy's turn. I play another headless chicken. Oh, fuck. Oh, right, because the only thing more useful than one headless chicken is two. We're about to get beaten to death. Give me that mana. Aw, oh, sick. It's Peach Boy's turn. Peach Boy spends his one mana. I play Franken Butcher. Franken Butcher enters the Franken field and mercilessly prepares the two headless chickens into a Franksgiving dinner, which she eats with her Franken family. <laughs> the filling meal empowers her to take charge of her destiny. She's no longer just an un undead monster fabricated for cheap farm labor. Franken Butcher ascends to living butcher status and destroys Cody. What? I thought Franksgiving dinners were supposed to make you sleepy, not give you a new lease on life. That's what New Year's is for. I don't think Franken Butcher sleeps, you know, being undead and all. Oh, lame. So that's it. I lost? Yeah, welcome to the Losers Club. Ew, don't say that. This game is rigged, isn't it? Only if you know what you're doing or if you're playing the right deck. Daniel's encyclopedic knowledge of MTH's lore and Peggy's semi-automatic unicorn deck always beat me. It's actually nice winning for a change, especially against you. What? Me? Why? And who the heck is Peggy? This is exactly what I'm talking about. You're just oblivious to how hurtful you are. You didn't do a thing when Julie threw me onto the coaster and you trashed Peggy's bracelet right in front of her. Wait, that was... Oh my god, I, I forgot to ask her for her name! Wait, so, so Peggy's horse girl? No, horse girl is Peggy! That's what I said! Oh, wait, she was there the whole time? Yeah, we both heard everything. Ugh. Look, I wasn't trying to hurt her. I just wanted to get Juvie off my back. I have her bracelet right here. Cody digs through his backpack. It's not there. Cody, you don't have to make excuses. Just admit you only care about godhood. It's okay. It's not like I care about you much. I... Okay, rude. I... The fucking... Door knocking sound. Every time door knocking sound effects in games sound like actual door knocks that could be happening behind me, it freaks me out. Especially because they always fucking happen on the right side. And I'm like, that's where my window is? That's scary. Don't do that. <laughs> Someone bangs on Pizza Boy's door. It's on that. Oh, oh shit. And that coming in. Oh, shit. Aunt Nat enters the field. I mean, room. Pizza Boy jumps in front of Cody. Uh, 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 auntie, what are you doing home so early? Oh, your uncle had a tomato mishap at the all grease. You know what they say in the business. No sauce, no, sauce, no slacks, no service. Poor guy's freezing from the ways down. Uh, cool, great. So why are you... Not all days, the backdoor pants thief had to hit the shop. I scuttled back here to get grab some spares. You just never know when God's gonna do a pants audit. Okay, um, the pants are hung up right there. It's just, hey now, who's that kid who's way too tall to be hidden behind you? G cool, cool, kid! Oh man, oh jeez, peeps, your ma'am's not gonna be happy about this. I mean, who knows who he's related to? I mean, his parents could be knocking our door down any, any second now, wondering why geeky little pizza babies cramping their kid's style. I told you guys, I'm the cool kid candidate. I have to cramp his style. There's just no telling what could happen if someone found out you kept this poor kid in this mess of a basement. I mean, what if he's got ins with a god? I mean, you never get lace or burn, but that stuff's not pretty, and any bitty pipsqueak like you would be wiped out just from the glare of it. 
My guy isn't gonna blast me. She was the one that set this up. You really should know better than running a cool kid's image could just ruin in a cool kid's image could destroy little gracers and you wouldn't want to put your whole family in jeopardy, would you? I mean this might even get around to steep. Oh my god, just shut up. Cody immediately shuts himself up. I, I mean uh, use as many words and uh horse puns as you want. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Sorry, cool kid. W won't happen again. I'll rein it in right quick. All the words that you want her, you heard it here first, straight from the horse's mouth. And Nat proceeds to shut up. Oh, she actually listened. My family bends over backwards for anything remotely cool. Oh, really? <laughs> Never call PB a geeky little pizza baby ever again. He ain't cramping anyone, style. Just get your dumb, sauceless pants and leave. Right, you got a cool kid. Oh, and quit messing him up with Steve. Poor kid just wants to bro it up with a bro, you know? Oh, yes, of course. I know, bro. I'll forgo this sc scolding. <laughs> Aunt Nat craps a sauce free pair of pants while mumbling words of affirmation to Cody. She leaves without another word. Man, how do you get raised by a bunch of suck-ups and still manage to give me attitude? <laughs> Holy crap, I've never seen her like that. I was worried she'd gone and on forever. Wonder if she'll be like that when I become a cool kid. Thanks, Cody. And, uh, <laughs> sorry for the attitude. It's cool, dude. If for the record, I'm not some heartless cool kid who only cares about godhood. Though things be way less compli complicated if I were. It's just hard to do anything. Oh, shit. It's just hard to do anything when everyone's pulling me in different directions. I just get stuck. But whatever. Sorry I'm a bad friend in training. Speaking of, I can't believe I lost Peggy's bracelet. Ugh, I must have dropped it at Nebuland or something. That's okay. Maybe the friend in training bracelet is the friends in training you made along the way. <laughs> That's a nice thought. Thanks, PB. Wanna play another game? Sure. We we literally we didn't learn our lesson. We could have we could have been like, ha, huh, we know Peggy's name now. And by the way, what's your real name? And we didn't. So there's that. Cody and Pizza Boy play nerdy games until it's time for him to go home. Hell yeah. Oh wow, a whole nother day. Pizza Boy makes his way home after school. His stomach growls. At least yesterday was nice. Wonder what Cody's up to. Might be nice to take my mind off things by working on the cat. Maybe I'll... Good morrow. <laughs> ah, C Cody? Oh, sorry. <laughs> D&D's dumb and evil speak would keep you from jump. I thought, dude. Oh, boy. I can read and comprehend words. I swear to God I can, okay? Thought D&D's dumb medieval speak would keep you from jumping out of your skin. How do you just not scream random phrases out of nowhere? <laughs> you silly bitch. Then how would anyone know I was here? <laughs> Whatever, oh my god, just let me eat something before we start working on the cat, I'm starving. All oh, right, the cat. Go grab that grub so that we can work on it ASAP. Pizza Boy heads into his apartment. Oh god, you're just gonna leave? Yeah, you're just gonna leave as me out here like a lowly chump? We have medieval speak, please. I'm really actually gonna have a stroke and I'm probably gonna cry about it. I get enough of that with Daniel. Only if you let me hang out inside. Fine, just don't touch anything. 